Hey friends, Blake Shook here. I love doing these videos because I get to take all the lessons I've learned from running anywhere from two beehives in my backyard to now 30,000 beehives and distill down all the lessons I've learned into something that I hope is helpful for you as a small scale beekeeper. So this hive, I'm really excited about it. This hive just, it honestly makes me happy because it's the perfect example of a hive that is really ready for winter. So they've uh, it's been fed properly, it's been treated for mites properly, I'm about to put a few pollen patties on it, but everything is just right for where I want it to be. So I want to give you a quick tour of what perfect looks like going into winter. Sometimes we can look at a lot of bad hives or mediocre hives and it can be helpful to just look at a really good hive so we know what good looks like. So the top box is about 25% full of bees and the top box has about 20 pounds of honey in it, which is good. Um, this is a super we actually put on after we harvested it, and the bees actually started storing in it. And so they've got, you know, about 20 pounds of honey. It's about 25% full of bees. I'm just going to leave it on. These deep boxes are pretty full of bees, and there are some bees up in this top box, so it's perfectly fine to leave that on. It's there if they need it. They'll move up and use that honey through the winter. The only time I'm pulling a third box off, whoa, hello. Uh, that was close. <laughs> the only time um, I am pulling a third box off is if it really has no bees in it. I mean, if it's, um, you know, maybe has half a frame of bees in it or just a few bees in it, then I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. But, you know, if it's got a decent amount of bees in it, I'm going to leave it on. So what I love to see is I've got good honey in my third box. My second deep box has you know, about 30 to 40 pounds of honey in it. And my bottom deep box um, also has, you know, some good, good bee population and good honey stores in it. So cumul cumulatively, I've got about 50 to 60 pounds of honey stored in this hive, which is more than enough for down south. Good bee population. Um, I'm gonna jump in really quickly and show you some of the brood. Last I looked, which was not long ago. Uh, the bottom box had a couple frames of brood in it. And this top box, yeah, still has some beautiful brood. I mean, you know, we're not too far away from the queen starting to shut down, or they're already starting to shut down, but um, look at that, look at, look at that, uh, ugh, I can't talk today. Look at that larva right there in the middle. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the sunlight shining right in the middle of that frame and see all the white. That's just beautiful larva. So the queen is still laying really well. This empty space over here is all eggs, but in the center there, you've got cat brood and then all that white larva that's about to be capped. So the queen is still laying really well. I've got good pollen stores. I've treated for mites. I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, I've got about five frames of brood up in this top box and a couple in the bottom. So, you know, five, six, I've got about seven frames of brood in this hive, which is fantastic. Look at that brood. Check out that brood pattern. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous brood pattern. I mean, this is, this is perfection, uh, which is a bit unusual for going into the fall like this. So the queen is doing great. All I'm really going to do to a hive like this is I'm going to go ahead and give them some pollen patties. And again, these pollen patties just act as insurance. They've got a lot of brood rearing still going on. I want to make sure that as they're rearing those baby bees that have to live all winter long, that I'm putting a few of these global pollen patties on the hive just to make sure that they've got the nutrients they need to properly prepare those baby bees for winter got other videos on that if you want to check them out that go into more depth on pollen patties and when to use them and when it's not necessary to use them. But in general, you're never going to hurt a hive by feeding it pollen patties. The only other thing I'm going to watch with this hive is just making sure that they don't need more food. Right now they don't. They've got that 50 to 60 pounds of stores, but they still got seven frames of brood. I can run 30,000 hives, but I can't get a lid on straight. There we go. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to keep an eye on the food stores because uh, they will continue to burn through those stores with that much brood. So the, this hive might need 
another gallon of syrup here in a couple of weeks, or more likely I'll throw one of Stan's soft sugar bricks on it, uh, just to make sure they've got enough food to keep that brood happy and healthy going into winter. So perfect hive. If your hive looks like this, you should be in good shape for next spring. This was helpful. Like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you next time.